welcome back. As you can see, I managed to put the fire out, and we are in front of the Wigglytuff Guild once more. So, shall we continue on this? Friend, advert is go, okay. <laughs> shall we continue on this? Friendship and Sadness Simulator. Continue. The Adventures of Team Duet. Let us begin, and... Oop, just realized I had... Advert is end. Okay, there we go. I forgot to put a link into one place anyways. And three smiles go for miles. Okay, Pokemon. Time to get to work. Hooray! Let's do our best, Charlotte, like we always do. What? What's going on? Okay, got it. Hold on. You two, team duet. Huh? Pardon me? From building dungeons to raiding dungeons in just a couple of hours. Yeah, pretty much. What's up? You've got yourself some visitors. Visitors? They're waiting at the guild entrance. Go see them. Wonder who it is. Evie Lynn and Charlotte, hi there! And who's ting pinging me? Oh, someone was responding to something I posted. That was what the pinging was. Okay. Hey, it's you little guys. We heard we have visitors. Are you maybe those visitors? Yep. We wanted to ask Team Duet for help. Help? Yep. We need your help finding the water float. A water float? Isn't that what you were looking for earlier? Apparently my silly voices are upsetting the doggo. Asbel, you can come downstairs, you know. Asbel! Doggo's being very crazy. Let's do it to it. Do it to it. <laughs> Isn't that what you were looking for earlier? A water float? Yep, someone said it, one was lying on the beach. We went looking for it. We didn't find it, and said this is what we found. A note! A scrap of paper? There's writing on it. Evie Lynn read the message on the scrap of paper. Let's see, what does it say? The water float from the beach is now in our possession. Just try to take it from us. We're waiting in the deepest part of Amp Plains. But knowing how weak and puny you are, I bet you couldn't even reach us. Cha-ha-ha. -ha. Can't help it? Go cry to your big shot friends. Cha-ha-ha. -ha. I'm still happy about getting the... <laughs> hey, this note, it's a... It's a ransom note, isn't it? You little guys, please don't even think about going. It's probably a trap. But the water float is very important to us. We really want to get it back. But I can't take Azuril to a dangerous place. I said I would go too! It's too much for you. And I don't want you getting into any scary scraps. I went to Ant Plains by myself. But many electric type Pokemon live there. I'm no match for them. I tried going many times. But I get knocked out right away. I just c can't stand how weak I am. No problem. I know what to do. We'll go get the water float back for you. Really? You will? Yep. No more tears. Okay. We we're sorry to bother you about this. Thank you. You should see your faces. All that crying and laughing. Come on. Don't worry, though. We'll get it back for you, we promise. Let's go, Charlotte! Let's get to Ant Plains! How dare they go someplace that water types are weak against. It's almost as if they were setting them up for failure. Okay, items. Hmm. 
Red gummy. Well, let's go to the cafe and mix up that red gummy into something tasty and delicious. Order. Where's the red gummy? There's the red gummy. Charlotte's gonna drink that. Add the red gummy. That's right! Shake it this way, shake it that way, and stir it all around, and it's done! Drink the hot red gummy drink. Moderately sweet, the natural flavor comes bursting forth. Oh, and my attack went up. Something written on the bottom of the glass you just drained. Woohoo! It's a secret exploration spot that, that now only you know about. Nobody else. Except, you know, whoever put it on the bottom of that drink. You can now go to the Lush Prairie! We should check that out sometime. Drink for gummy drink. Info. Ice type Pokemon. Info. Grass type. Info. Electric type. You know what? Eevee Lynn. Drink up. Maybe you'll become, um, a, uh, Glaceon. Shake it this way, shake it that way. Stir it all around, and it's done. A light, rich flavor that just melts in your mouth. And her defense went up. Yay! Okay, grass gummy. Gotta get... We gotta buff up Eevee Lynn's intelligence. Make Eevee Lynn the strongest, the smartest. Hello, Extinct! I've got a good feeling about this drink. What was that sound effect just then? Drink the grass gummy beverage. The various flavors don't clash. Instead, they blend together in a beautiful harmony in this fine drink! Eevee Lynn's IQ went up. Eevee learned the IQ skill PP Saver. Eevee Lynn special dance. Fence rose one, huh? What? IQ increased two. Okay, and we'll left we'll Charlotte drink this one. PP saver is one that would actually be useful for even the not control old uh, one. Got a good feeling about this drink too. Known trader. Okay, what else do I have? I have Zeke. Let's make a Zinc drink! <laughs> make drinks out of things that shouldn't be made into drinks, including medicine. Shake it this way, shake it that way, and stir it all around, and it's done. All I did was increase my a special defense. Yeah. Sorry about that. Anyways, order. What else do I have that could make an interesting drink? Violent seed. Info. Hmm, this is kind of a rare seed. But you know what? I'm curious if it'll make anything. I'm making drinks out of so much weird stuff. Ah, it didn't do anything. Damn, that was a waste of kind of rare seed. Open up the deluxe box, please. Pichu hair. Hmm. Apparently there's a bald Pichu wandering around out there somewhere.
a reviver seed. That was nice. Okay, let's go ahead. Okay, sticks. I got three apples, three warren berries. I don't need that. Um, store the thunder wave. Store that. Keep that. Keep that. Store that. Store that. Store that. Let's see, you got anything of use to me? What you got, Mr. Kelkleon? Dark Pulse, Jar of Ball. Eh. How about you? How about you, non shiny? Heal Ribbon speeds up healing. Speeds up the Pokemon's natural HP healing. Beware, the Pokemon's belly will go down faster when it holds this item. Okay, just don't make it the one that you're in control of. Okay, that's done. Let's adjust our team, shall we? Okay, members. Sorry, Alexandra, you need to go on standby because we're going to a place with a lot of electrical ick types. You're a water graph. Found though. Water, grass poison. Water ground. Eh. Ollie's coming with us. Hmm. Don't have anyone that's really good for, uh, for an electric dungeon, though. We're just taking Holly, then. Electric big typing will be useless against her. She has ground. And what's down here? Oh. Ahoy! Are you heading to the beach? Well, would you keep your eye out for something if you could? Yes, that was the best beam run. Un beam run? It was. Our big palace rushing up on the beach. It looks as though there's something inside those palace. Well, if it sounds interesting, you might want to look for bottles on the beach. Balls <laughs> washing up on the beach. Balls with something in them. Something interesting. Not like they're only washing up now and then. What a whenever we head to the beach, we can look for a bottle. Okay, this is probably something I could have done a lot sooner and probably should have been doing. Oh, hey, bottle. There's a bottle here, huh? Looks like there's something inside. Would you like to try and take it out? Yeah. Job letter inside. Yeah. I'll add it to my job list. I don't know if I'll ever end up going to do that job, but hey. Let's go to Ant Plains. Bum, 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 bum. This must be the entrance to Ant Plains. I can't imagine what sort of creeps would do something like this. I mean, threatening little kids like those brothers really stinks. Let's make sure we get their water float back, Charlotte. Evie Lynn has gotten and strong and determined. I like it. Ah! Ow! Good job, Evie Lynn. Dude. This is some groovy music. Ooh, Hornberry. Next floor. Perfect. I'm gonna throw a rock at you. I'm gonna scratch ya. Yeah, take that. 
Ow. I'm gonna scratch you too. Ow. Rude. Mary Female wants to join your team. Will you accept Mary Female as a member? Another female party member. I'm running out of... I don't have any more female patrons to name, name them after. Uh, I guess... Chat, decide what we're naming it. Drink. Sorry to hear that. Well, hopefully you can relax here with some Mystery Dungeon. Ixion, Casey Drake suggests for the Marip's name. Extinct is talking about rocks, and how they're super effective against all types. Well, they're not super effective, but they are effective. Throwing rocks at, at things for fun and profit. Or what's the lightning cheap in Persona? Um, shoot, I can't remember what it's called, but I know what you're talking about. It has like, it's a sheep, but it has a horn that's like zigzaggy like a lightning bolt. It's really long, long. Um, sheep from Sheep in the Big City. I missed that show, that was a good show. Sheep in the Big City, yeah, yeah. You the sheep, I the sheep. We all sheep. Yeah. The only thing more effective than rocks is pocket sand. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna go with Ixion, because I'm not here. Oh, seconding of Ixion. Okay, Ixion it is. Okay, making sure I'm spelling it right. Okay, yeah. Ixion joined Team Duet. Okay, now we have an electric type in the party. Getting a little more type variety in the gang. That's always useful to have. Mudsport. Ooh, that's actually useful here. Hi there. I'm gonna throw a rock at you. Boost! Oh, hold on. Let me get the actual sound effect board up. Come on, soundboard. Load. Why do you keep getting made so quiet? Go full volume. There we go. I had to take out the trash so you make this your chance to make a joke. They love ye. the stairs we go. Your minions are battling the enemy! Ah. <sighs> Not angry. I'm just disappointed. I'm kidding, I'm not. Oh, you do realize you only need to use that once, right? And... There we go. It's 
throw a rock at you. I'm gonna throw more rocks at you. Ow! You're a jerk. Mary Pmail wants to join the team. Okay. Alright, hold on. Let me get up my patron list and see who the currently top donating male person is. Okay. Patrons. Um, ba -ba -bum. Current top dating male patron is named Patrick, so we will name this sheep Patrick. The wooden door is under attack. No, it is not! Oh, lightning sheep! Wait a minute, Patrick is Dia. The Mary is Swayze. Hold on, hold on, I gotta message the guy. There we go. And thus we have our very first male party member. Sorry, Ixian. But I... Charlotte grew to level 19, drink! Okay, what can I learn? Scary face? Uses the target's movement speed by one level. Eh, it's too situational. Okay. Welcome to the team, Dark Star. Wait a minute, there's an item back there. Oh, it's that rock I threw earlier. Right. Okay. Ooh, money. And an orb. Decoy orb, huh? Ow! How dare! Ow! You're a jerk! Holly grew to level 12! Drink! Money, money, money. Up the stairs. A plusle? Ah! I've been paralyzed! Save me, Charlotte! Wait a minute, why did I say save me, Charlotte? I am Charlotte. Encore? Um... There we go. There we go. Ooh, gummy! I'm gonna take that. That's mine now. Let's 
Slumber Orb, and there's the stairs. Oop. Someone showed up to give us a bad time. You gonna keep spamming that, Holly? Holly, stop. Okay, throw a rock at him. More rocks. More rocks. Nicely done, Holly. To the next floor. There's a scarf here. Stamina band. Rock! Deploying more rocks! I'm gonna scratch ya. Huh. Neither one of us hit the other. Except for that time I did. Yeah. We will, we will rock you. I threw a rock and it didn't do anything. There we go. Bum, 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 ba -da -da -bum, ba -da -da -bum. Another Ella kid. Throw a rock at him. More rocks. Scratch him. Huh. Interesting. There we go. Why are you using water gun? It's an electric type. You have mud shot. You're not very smart, Holly. No offense to the real world, Holly. She's far more intelligent. Reviver Seed! Throw more rocks! It's the only way to survive! More rocks! Missed. More rocks! I missed again! Scratch it! How dare! There we go. Did I see? Proceed. Du, 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 du. Proceed. Hm. Iron thorns. What's that up there? It's sleeping, or yes, it is, and it's a merry. I'm gonna throw rocks at it. How dare! I'm gonna throw more rocks at you. And I smack you across the face! And Holly grew to level 13. Drink! Alright. Why are you using water gun on electric types? Seriously. You have mud shot. Proceed. Do, 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 do. Gummies! Stairs appeared. That was weird. For stairs to appear as a trap. Secret Bazaar? Holy cow! Good afternoon and congrats! You found the Secret Bazaar! I'm Kirla, the Bazaar Guide. Feel free to explore the shops here. Okay, you just say the one thing. Hee <laughs> Hello! This is Mind Junior Spa! For just a hundred P, I'll restore your HP, PP, and even your belly. What do you think? Care to try it? Mm, not right now. I want to check out the other things first. Hello and welcome, explorers. I've got some wonderful, wonderful grab bags here. You never know what's inside. Try one and see. Only a hundred P to find out what's hiding inside. Mm, checking out all the options before I spend anything. Do you have items that have gotten sticky? Well, clean them all up in your treasure bag for a hundred P. I don't think I have anything that's sticky. I'm Shed Ninja, the escape guide. I know a secret way out of the dungeon. Give me a hundred P, 
show you the way out of the dungeon. Alright then, come find me if you ever want to escape from the dungeon. Okay, well first things first, I'm Junior Spa, I will gladly take you up on that offer. Healing Beam? You know, it's not much of a spa if you just cast, use Healing Beam. Oh well. I'll buy one. What's in the grab bag? A gray gummy. I'll buy another one. I got enough for one more thing here. I'll buy a one. Max elixir, huh? Proceed. Actually, let's go ahead and... Hello, how's the adventure? Hello, Shadow Josh 888 The adventure is going well! We are exploring the Amp Plains in search of a water float, which was taken from Azumarill and... in... Mar not Azumarill, I mean... Meryl and... Azrael. Not Dreamer. Ink gummy. You're very fast, but... Can you dodge this? <laughs> How's being a cute Charmander? It's excellent. I am very strong. Eevee Lynn grew to level 20. Drink! Did it, did it, did it. How dare. Gotcha. I'm playing as Pikachu and Eevee. Huh. Oh. So are you suggesting that we, uh, let's go? Yeah, sorry, Casey. You're a water type, so you're weak to electricity. The only reason Holly is here is because... They are also a ground type and thus immune to electrical attacks. I'ma scratch you! Hmm, decent EXP. Nice. Do -do 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 Money. Aw, oh, come on, only seven. And then Charmander, your icon, by the way, has the anger face. Like he shows his teeth, which is sharp. Hmm. Neat. Laffy picked up 83p. That's my money. Better have my money. Hi there. You have something that belongs to me. Was not that flappy. Light screen, huh? You have something that belongs to me. Oh damn, critical hit. There. That's what would belong to me. Hi there. I'm gonna scratch you. Oh, you survived that, huh? I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna burn you. You're a bug, and therefore weak to it. By the way, do you wish to punch Chatoth in the face? Yes, yes I do. Pretty sure everyone here wants to. I'll show you how useful I can... I'll show you how I can be useful, Charlotte. Let's do our best. Let us save and continue. We have much more adventuring to do. Chatoth the gullible idiot. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Meanwhile, back at Treasure Town. Ah, I see. That's what happened to your water float. What a mean thing to do. So Charlotte's team is on the way there right now, yes? Yep. They said they would help go get it for us. 
Good for you. You can rest easy knowing Team Duet is on the case. <laughs> yes, that's true. They saved Azuril too. We're so grateful for their help. Good day to you all. Is something the matter? Hello, Dusk Noir, sir. We're talking about Meryl's lost item. Do you remember? We discussed the very same thing here not long ago. Of course. I believe you're referring to the water float, dear boy. I seem to recall you heard that it was on the beach. Exactly, exactly. But now there is more to the story. <laughs> Help Cleon explain to Dusk Noir what had taken place. I see. That is terrible indeed, dear sport. It's hard to imagine why anyone would do something so wretched. It must take some pathetic thugs to stoop so low. I just couldn't agree more. To be so mean-spirited to children, and to, to children so young as these brothers, it's utterly unforgivable. One more thing, old bean. Where is Team Duet gone? They went to Amp Plains. Pardon? Did you say Amp Plains, my good sir? What in Amp Plains at this time of year? It's the season for... No, this is ruinous! Team Duet is in grave danger, I say. What? I must leave for a uh, plane's post haste. Cheerio. What? Wait. Car and planes, first floor. Hi there. Uh, you first. Am I out of rocks? I'm out of rocks. So I'm gonna throw sticks instead. Ow. Stop that. I'm gonna burn you. You ate an orin berry? How dare! Don't worry, I got him. There you go. Darkstar grew to level 18! Drink! Darkstar is also very low on hit points right now. Hi there. You know what's gonna happen to you? You're gonna get scratched. That was not very nice. I'm gonna do this to you again. Chat. Or let grew to level 20. Drink. Okay. Let's just wait here and recover for a little bit. Nope. Not worth it. Hmm. What's this? A blast seed. That will be most useful if there is a mm, boss fight up ahead. Gotcha. Hi there. Guess what's gonna happen to you? Oh no, you don't. You don't get to run away. Hi there. Guess what? Ember can go through corners. Ollie leveled up. Drink! Okay. Music here is pretty rockin'. There we go. Laffy took my money. Where's my money? Where's my money, Flaffy? Silver gummy. Flaffy, where's my money? Where's my money, Flaffy? Give it to me. Better have my money. That's my money, Flaffy. Fine. Third floor. Oh, hey, a Tauros. I'm gonna scratch it. Evie Lynn proves that her swordsmanship is second to none. 
Lapley is doubling your money and the low delivery cost of DEATH! Unfortunately for Flap Epi, I have a Prime me I had the Prime membership, which lets me e um, which means that Flaffy has to pay the, the shipment fee. Uh, ow! Dang it, that joke would have gone better if I had... Hello there again. Someone needs to pay the death toll. Holly, could you not? Could you not, Holly? Hope you have at least some of those left for when we encounter some sort of boss. Sonic Boom? How dare! Ow! You know what? You're weak to fire. How dare you pick up my stick? I'm gonna scratch you for that. Evie Lynn grew to level 21! Drink! Proceed. Evie Lynn, when are you gonna learn quick attack? You don't get to run away. By the way, if Team Skull found out about the time gear, do you think they would have stolen it? Probably not. Hello, man trick. Guess what time it is? Scratch time. How many of those do you have? Hi there, Flaffy. I am not amused by your growling. Hmm. I'll eat an apple. There we go. Might as well. Doubt we're gonna encounter anything. Hi there. Hmm. Sure. Worth it. Holly, how many times are you going to do that? Ooh, glittery box. Ah, Petcha Scarf. Not worth. Alright, what do I got that I can safely... There we go. How many floors is this place? Pick up my stick, will you? I'm gonna keep scratching you till you fall. Ick stick. Stamina band. Money. Proceed. Damn, Evie Lynn! Ah, oh, you got so angry. Taurus Males wants to join your team! Will you accept Taurus Mail as a mem party member? Okay. So drink for new party member, and let's see. Who's next in the list? Next up we have... Dan Redfall! So Dan shall be your name. Boom boom. Boom 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 boom. Your name is Dan now. Hmm. Sorry, Dan. 
I'm sorry, Dan, but... Well, your big giant in into Tauros, we require anti-electricity for this dungeon. And unfortunately, the other two party members have that. Transfer orb. What does that even do? More iron thorns. Damn, Evie Lynn! Holly Green of 15! New work move, huh? Slap! Well, at least we confirmed that Holly ran out of mud sports. Darkstar grew to level 19! Drink! Cotton Spore. What's that do? Do it started movement speed by one level. Goodbye, Growl. I'm gonna throw a stick at you. Stop picking up my sticks. Good job, Darkstar. Ooh, TM. Safe guard, huh? Um. That seems like nothing else would be worth some cash. You're enraged, huh? What a coincidence. Mm. Ow. Get out of my way. Charlotte grew to level 21. Holy shit, that's an name for us. Hi there. I'm gonna burn you now. That was a little scary encountering. Dark Star, do your stuff. Uh oh. Okay, Dark Star clearly not doing his stuff. Um, I'm gonna just scratch it then. I'm gonna scratch this one, too. Apparently Darkstar wasn't feeling uh, up to the thunder shocking today. Reviver Seed, Orin Berry. Here, Darkstar, eat this. Good for ya. Swap the plain seed. Proceed. Ninth floor. Dang, so many floors. Uh, does anyone need this? No. I'll swap that then. Ow! You're a jerk. Uh oh. Ow! Thank you, Evie Lynn. Stick at you, throw another stick at you, throw yet another stick at you. You didn't even get close to me. Hmm, an apple, huh? I'm gonna eat that. Proceed! Amp clearing! Here we are, Charlotte, Evie Lynn, Holly, and Darkstar. Eh, what an intimidating place. Wah! Oh, 
How frightening. Seems like lightning can strike here anytime. We should get away from this place as scare this scary as fast as huh? Over there It's a pretty necklace thing. Could that be the water float, Charlotte? Let's get a closer look. What? Why did you come here? This is our territory. There's someone here. Let's hide, Charlotte. <laughs> so you're going to hide like that? That's kind of cute. All right. I would actually be grateful if you kept doing that. We'll sneak quietly to get as close as we can. All right. Let's take them out. No. This is not good. We'll surely be defeated if we stay here. Where are- who are you? Show yourselves! <laughs> My name is Mantric. I am the leader of these Electric. That's a lot of them. Now, prepare to fight! That's right! Oh boy, that's quite a few of them. Um... Items. What do I got? What do I got? Hmm, that won't be of any use, but I can throw sticks at them! Moves. Fire Blast! Flail! Why'd you use Water Gun? Seriously! Yep. That's not a good thing. More Fire Blast! Leader's taken out, guys! Ooh, good job, Evie Lynn. Good job, Holly. We needed that. Apparently you got refilled, filled upon entering the boss room. Uh-oh. Holly's not doing too good. Uh, Orenberry, eat. Holly! Good job, Evie Lynn. Good job, Holly. Ow. Uh-oh. Thank God for Reviver Seeds. However, you're eating all of my Reviver Seeds. Fire Blast! One shot, one kill. Good job, Evie Lynn. Try another Fire Blast! I missed it. Oh, Darkstar recovered from the paralysis. There we go. I'm gonna throw sticks at ya! The stick missed. More stick! More stick! Ah! Oh, I didn't get to pick up the leftover stick. You... You dare? Wait a second! We honestly didn't come here to make claims on your territory. Enough! Take this! Wah! Stop! Stop this instant! Their words are sincere, dear boy. They trespass, but they don't intend not to make claims on your territory. The... Dust Noir! You! Who are you? I am the explorer Dusk Noir, old bean. Mantric! You have every right to be angry, dear boy. Especially in light of what your tribe has suffered on these grounds. Your hostility towards any trespass here is natural. This place is your haven, a place where you find solace. I understand that completely, dear boy. On behalf of these unwitting trespassers, I offer my sincerest apology. Spot of bother and whatnot. They entered here unbidden, but did so without malice. They mean no harm. Um, old chap. We will leave you in peace as soon as our owner is complete, old bean. Please, believe me. Mantric. Hmm. You seem to know much about us, Dust Noir. Make the claim. They mean no harm. So be it. I choose to believe your words, Dust Noir, and I'll allow you some time. 
Expect you to be gone by our return. Come. Hot two, three, four. Hot two, three, four. Phew. Thank you, Dust Noir, sir. You saved us, but who were they? Oh, a group of Mantric and Electrite, old bean. They are a nomadic tribe that always stays on the moon, so you see. They roam in constant search of uh, places that are hospitable to them, as it were. And our plains is often lashed by thunderstorms this time of year. They find it to their liking, so they dwell in our plains this time of year. But tragically, they were once attacked by enemies here without warning. And I understand that they suffered terrible in injuries. For the... Ever since, Mantrix's group has been very sensitive about trespassers, see, yeah, so you see. If anyone trespassed upon these grounds, well, be a bit of a sticky wicket, they would strike first for fear of being stricken. Somehow, at the some point, that became a law amongst Mantrix's group, as it were. Oh, I get it now. That's why they wanted to fight us. No wonder they refused to hear our arguments. Oh, I forgot something. I thought I saw the water float over there. It's very pretty. It's here. It, this is it. Dust Noir, sir, is this? There's no mistaking it. Without a doubt, that is a water float. Really? We did it. Let's return the item to Merrill and his little brother right away. I don't get it, though. How'd this water float end up here? I would imagine that it was put there deliberately, or so good to say. Whoever did this knew you would eventually get to this spot. The fact that Mantric protests fixes its territory is rather well known, as you see. Someone expected a confrontation between you and old, old Mantric, as it were. You were set up. Wasn't that your intention, you sneaking scoundrels? Pardon? It's about time you came out of hiding and show yourselves. Engage in fisticuffs like proper gents, or else face the consequences. <laughs> so you knew all along. No point in hiding, then. Hey, it's you, thugs. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys did it, but why? Whoa, we were gonna wait for you to get stomped by Mantric. Then we were gonna step in and mop up afterwards. <laughs> and we didn't count on this guy meddling. Shall we settle this? <laughs> Sir, if it was just Team Duet, you can bet that we'd rough him up good. But against the world-famous Dutch Noir? Well, that's a different story. Let's skedaddle, boys. Yeah! Yeah! What stinkers! I'm never forgiving those guys! They certainly are quick when it comes to... skedaddling, as it were. I'm afraid our effort would be wasted if we were to give chase right now, as you see they are quite expeditious on the retreating. I think we should deliver the water float to the young brothers, as so you ought to say. What? Would you like to save your adventure? Yes, I would. Save complete. Yay. Oh, wow! We got our water float back! Yay! Thank you, really! You saved us zero way back when, and now this! I don't know how we could ever thank you, but really... Thank you! Oh, please, it's okay. If you want to thank anyone, thank the great Dust Noir. Dust Noir hadn't been there, we wouldn't be here now. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dust Noir, sir. No trouble at all. I'm, I'm very happy for you, dear boys. It's a wonderful that your water float has come back to you. <laughs> I must say, it's lo so like the great Dust Noir to be so modest. And I must say that Team Duet has also been superb. After all, the team has again completed a difficult job. Escarina Zero, you were 
You're so fast at pinpointing the child's whereabouts. And so fast at reaching your young friend, too. Oh, about the Azuro rescue, we have to admit something. It would be great if it truly happened the way Kecleon said. Shut up, phone. Why are you being so quiet? Sorry, I gotta do things. There. Hopefully that'll, uh, solve things. We didn't pin down Azuril's location before rescuing him. My partner here just happened to see it in a dream. Excuse me? A dream, you say? By dream? What do you mean, old chap? Oh, that's right! Maybe the Great Dusk Noir will know what it means. You see, my partner occasionally gets weird dizzy spells when touching something or someone. And then my partner sees or hears events that happened in the past, or just about to happen in the, the future. Oh, what? Well, that's... that's... the Dimensional Scream, dear boy. I mean, dear girl. What? Dusk Noir, sir. You really know about something like this? In that case, should we ask Dustamar if he knows even more? Ask about what? Oh, right! About my own forgotten past! I forgot about my forgotten past! <laughs> Is it okay? It's okay to ask, right, Charlotte? Mm-hmm. Dustamar, sir, we were wondering if we could get your advice about something. I see. So you found your friend unconscious right here, as it were. Yes, this exact spot. And you regained consciousness, so you'd lost your memories. Yes, with the memory of a name, and the memory of being a human before this. I beg your pardon? Human? But our friend here seems to be a Pokemon in every obvious way. Or the very notion of it. That's true. I guess this is even beyond the great Dust Noir's understanding. But we're sure that something caused my partner's memory loss and caused the transformation from human to Pokemon. A human with the dimensional scream ability? You are... You said you know your name at least. And that name would be... Charlotte told the name to Dusknoir. Oh, I see. You're... Charlotte. Intriguing. Does that name ring in a bell? Hmm. No. Means nothing to me, unfortunately. Uh, what? Did I just see the faintest... Did Dustmore just hide the faintest of smiles? Did I imagine that? I'm sincerely sorry I couldn't help you with that. However, I do know about the ability that Charlotte possesses. Oh, really? What is it? The ability to see the future or the past by touching something. It's an ability known as the Dimensional Scream. Dimensional... Scream? Indeed. How such an ability is learned, that is unknown. But its sounds and images slice across the boundaries of time, bridging objects and reaching into Pokémon, to manifest as visions. And that is all that I know about the extraordinary ability. Charlotte has an ability as special as Dimensional Scream. Well, perhaps this is why we became friends, as it were. To help unravel the secret of Charlotte's transformation into a Pokémon, rather. I offer you my full cooperation, what what? Oh, you will? Yes, to be perfectly candid. I can't stand knowing that there's something I don't know. Quite honestly, that is the full truth of it. <laughs> it's reassuring to know that we have your help, Dust Noir, sir. Isn't that great, Charlotte? Hey, look at the Pelipper! 
That's a lot of burbs. Seems to be a lot more flying than usual. Could something be the matter? Hey! Oh, hello, Bidoof. Uh, uh, finally! Uh, found you all! What's the hurry? You're all out of breath. The call's been pulled out! All the apprentices are to report to the guild immediately! Uh-oh, something's up! I will go with you! Hurry, everyone! <laughs> would you like to save your adventure? Yes, I would. Chapter 11! Grovile the Thief! Drink! <sighs> Come on, hurry! Everyone's here, yup yup. Sorry everyone. We just got told the call went out, so we came running. What's going on? Another time gear was stolen. What? Not another one! From where now? Where was the time gear stolen from? Well, it... Uh, what's the problem? Did something happen in somewhere you don't want to talk about? Wait, it wasn't the one from... Yes, it was! This time, the time gear from Fogbound Lake was stolen! Huh? But, but, but how? The time gear that was at Fogbound Lake? Only we knew about that, right? So how could this happen? Mm. Couldn't be. That a member of the guild talked, could it? What? That was uncalled for! Hey, 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 don't trust our fellow members! Mm, sorry, that wasn't called for. You're right. No one would break our promise to keep that a secret. No one would... It, it'd just never happen. I wasn't thinking. I know no one would ever do that. I'm sorry. Well, it's no wonder that you'd led to that conclusion. I mean, this horrible thing did happen right after expedition. Just one... just one moment. I'm afraid I don't quite understand. There was a time gear at Bogbound Lake. I did not know that. Did I not hear a, quite a different tale about your recent expedition? as it were. I recall being told that your expedition to Fogbound Lake ended in failure. I apologize, Great Dust Noir. We made a promise, but we couldn't tell even you, Dust Noir. Anyway, a lone intruder slipped into Fogbound Lake, knocked out Ooxie, and made off with the time gear. Ooxie? Is Ooxie alright? Yes, Ooxie is fine. He's under the protection of the Magnazone Squad. No need to worry. Whew. I'm glad to hear that. Wait, there's more. According to Ooxie's victim statement, the intruder's identity has been revealed. Confess up. What kind of critter are we dealing with? There's already a wanted poster up for the thief. Be for yourselves. This Pokemon goes by the name of Grovile. Oof. That is one nasty piece of work. Grovile. So this is the Pokemon. Thief who's stealing time gears. This water poster just arrived. It was issued based on Ooxie's statement. It arrived as part of an old points bulletin. Oh, that figures. That's why all those Pelipper were flying around. Officer Magzo nubs. Obviously, didn't want to see things worsen. They put a remarkably high bounty on the thieving Grovile. Promised Uxie. He promised not to reveal the secret of Fogbound Lake. But then this happens. We didn't leak the secret, but. I'm ashamed to sew my face in front of Uxie now. Hey, hey, here's what sticks in my crow. Ah, huh? the view there has been ruined. Hey, hey, I just can't forgive that! Hey, 
Uh, hey, Guildmaster? Guildmaster? Everyone will catch Grovile. We'll catch that thief. I vow it upon the name of Wiggly Tuff's Guild. Chatot, if you will. Hi yes. Okay, everyone. From here on out, we are putting our full focus on capturing Grovile. Do your best to bring Grovile to justice. It goes. That goes without saying. Hey, 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 there's no way we can let any more time gears be stolen. Come on, let's pull together. Let's do it for Uxie. Wigglytuff, dear boy. I believe I understand the situation now. I will join in your guild's noble pursuit of Grovile, as it were. <laughs> Thank you, Great Dusknoir. Golly, having the Great Dusknoir in our corner is mighty heartwarming. Hey, we're honored! No, no, it's my honor entirely, dear boy. At present, the Guildmaster and I shall confer. We'll devise a strategy for finding Grovile. In the meantime, you should all start preparing to go on searches. Return here when you are ready to leave. Okay, everyone, let's outdo ourselves. Hooray! We should hurry and get ready, Shatot. Let's... I mean, Charlotte. Let's start preparing with a visit to Treasure Town. I will lend my support to capturing that thieving Grovile. Let us walk together and catch that Grovile. Anyways, first things first. Got some unboxing to do. Charis Claw! Oh yeah! Lapras songs, huh? Okay. Get out of my way. Okay. Store that. Black gummy. Actually, you know what? No, don't store the black gummy. I'm gonna turn those into new purees and drinks. I see two seed, plain seed. I can just toss that. Don't need that many reviver seeds for where we're going. Light screens, good for decoy orb. Or for your orb. Oh, I have two of these. Yeah, I'll hold on to both. Okay, you got anything good for me? Just orbs. Do 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 Okay, that's done. Huh. What's in here? I don't think I've been in here before. Visitors? Finally! My my first visitors! Welcome to Marowax Dojo! This is my place! It's dedicated to the training of exploration teams. The dojo went to rack and ruined, then to a pile of rubble, but now has risen from the dust of its former glory. But I haven't had any visitors. There hasn't even been one. It saddened me to do my very marrow. But then, along came you two. You are my first customers. For my very marrow, I feel, feel overjoyed. I don't even want money. 
Keep it! Just train here, that's all I ask! This is the entrance to the training mazes. I have to tell you one thing. Training mazes aren't like ordinary dungeons. There's this icky part you see. When you go in, you hand over everything that's in your treasure bag. Avoid losing the items in your treasure bag. Put them in Kangaskhan storage before you go in. There's more! If you get KO'd, you don't lose the new money and items that you found in the maze. You get to keep them. There's no risk to you, so you can go all out while you train. So yes, make me happy. Train your team here. About it. Maybe later. Alright, let's make some puree. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Pink gummy, silver gummy, yellow gummy. You know what? Yellow gummy, if Eric Star, drink up. Drink. Shake it this way, shake it that way, stir it all around, and it's done. Okay, now the brown gummy we can give to Holly because she's part ground type. <sighs> Oop, sorry. There we go. Okay, shake it this way, shake it that way, stir it all around, and it's done. I had a good feeling about this one. Okay, let's see. Plain seed will probably make nothing. But hey, it gets it out of my inventory. Oh, you have a good feeling about that one, huh? The pulpy plain seed. Huh. Oh, my max HP went up. Neat. You're not in the active party, Casey, I'm sorry. Okay, come on. Wish that you could go do this a little faster. Blue gummy soda, huh? How many of these things do I have to uh, drink in order to get it? EP saver. Gummies. I'm just trying to get PP Saver. At least my raw stats are going up from this.
Hmm. Exclusive move user. Interesting. Oh well. How's Spinda? Spinda just made a whole bunch of drinks for me. Okay. Alright, let's see. Members. Brick tough. Self cure, status checker, status checker. You know what, Sully Holly, if we are going to face off against a Grovile, we need someone with a little grass resistance. And unfortunately, Casey, that rules you out as well. Alexandra, join in the team. Alright, let's head back to the guild house. Now I see everyone's with us. First and foremost, this should go without saying, Grovile appears wherever time gears are located. But where are the time gears? That is the question. But we have no answer, and therefore we have relied upon the great Dusk Noir for ideas. Together we have identified several locations where the time gears may be found. We ask that everyone split into groups and investigate each of these potential sites. First, Loudbridge and Courtfish. I'm assigning you to the Eastern Forest. That's the huge forest far to the east, of course. Got it! Yay, we'll do our best. Next, Bidoof, Dugtrio, and Sunflora. We'd like you to search Crystal Cave. Yup, yup, will do. Understood. Oh my gosh, I'll search hard. And finally, Chateau de Nibelin. You two are assigned to the Northern Desert. The Northern Desert? Correct. Open your wonder map. Okay. See this area. This area on the map is obscured by clouds. But the dry terrain starts in this area here. That's why it's rumored that a vast desert extends from that point onward. We suspect that a time gear is hidden in the depths of the desert. That is where we're, I, we are sending you to investigate. Okay, we understand. Um, what about me? Diglett will remain at the guild. Can't very well leave the guild completely unattended. Trogunk and I are staying behind at the guild too. The work we do at the guild is important too. Let's make sure we keep our good work. Y yes no! Let's find the time gears, everyone! Yo-ta! Hooray! And let's find them quick before the Guildmaster decides that resetting the world would be a better idea. Northern Desert is not only wide and deep, it is ranked by vicious sandstorms. Please, do take care. Will do, thank you. Charlotte, let's try our best. Okay, actually, if we're going to a desert, then a water type would be ideal, in which case, Alexander, you're getting in, uh, I'm afraid that Alexander, uh, and, uh, Darkstar, you're going to be benched in favor of some other mons. Stand by. Okay, let's see. Rose, no. No. Let's get Casey in here. Okay, Dark Star, stand by. Okay, let's see. Who has some good moves for a desert area? Hmm. Well, we've got Holly as well. Raditz or Rose? Raditz or Rose? Raditz. All right, onwards.
Okay. To the northern desert! Up, 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 up. Oh, I forgot to check the beach. Oh well. Northern desert is through here. The time gear really is here. Grovile should show up, up for sure. Let's do our best and find that time gear. Mm-hmm. Northern desert, first floor. A ball toy, huh? Good job. Up. Oh, right. Straight line only. Daisy grew to level 14. Drink! Okay, get the gorgeous box. Proceed. Uh-oh. How dare. I'm gonna burn you. Oh, I guess you're not weak to fire typing yet. Try me food? Try me food doing here. Ow. How dare. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna throw a stick at you. Daisy, could you please stop using water sport? It's not helping. It's actually making my main in damage dealing moves weaker because it reduces the power of fire. Oh, we're already five floors in. Holy cow. Bong is actually kind of relaxing. Hi there. I'm gonna scratch you. Come on, soundboard. There we go. Three P in the sand. Uh, sandstorm. Ah, uh, that's not good. That's especially bad for uh, us. Do, 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 do. Is it sent by Derude? No, it was not. Ah, dang it. Hi there. Ow! Okay, let's uh, keep moving before we get killed by the weather. Ah, damn it. Freaking rabbits. Hi there. You know what? Ow! Help me. Well, there goes my only reviver seeds. Casey, why? Getting very annoyed by you doing that. Evelyn grew to level 22. Drink! Oh, new move? Yes, finally! Sorry, tackle. Never enough water sports.
And Raditz is dead. Of course it is. Raditz is dead, and I have no reviver seats. Sorry for removing your boosts, Eevee Lynn, but uh, those accuracy downs were getting very painful to deal with. Here we go. Hmm, grass type in the desert. Who would have thought? Ooh, hi there! Hi, you're a rare one. You're you become a pseudo legendary. You missed me. Hmm. I'm gonna throw sticks at you. Good job, Casey. Do, 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 do. First, let's get the money. Trip trap. Put that back on. Put that on Evie Lynn. And away we go. Um, I don't like how everything took on a red tinge. Something's following us. Good job, Evie Lynn. Great. No, that's just great. Exactly what I wanted to have happen. Yeah, sure. Ow. You know, that makes life more difficult for me, Casey. Things really aren't worth fighting. More grimy food. Indeed. about going through this dungeon than not having uh, any reviver seeds anymore. Oh, you can learn a new move, huh? Hmm. Double slap. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what I'm going to replace. Hmm. Hmm. Away with you, water sport. More sandstorm. Store and energy, that's hilarious. Yeah. That's cute. Cute that you think you'd survive more than one turn against a fire type. Okay. Sandstorm here. Damn, Casey, your hit point levels are low, are not high. You don't have a lot of max HP. I mean, granted, you're like six to seven levels behind in Charlotte and, and Evie Lynn. Ooh, silver spikes. Nice. I'm gonna scratch you. Scratch. Okay, onwards. 
Oh, hi there. There's multiple of you, huh? You know what? That's just fine. Yeah, that's it. Keep coming. Like a buffet. Just for me. Tasty, tasty EXP. Whew, how many floors does this place have? Uh oh. Good job. Uh oh. No, not Casey! You had so much to live for. Drink for our fallen comrade. She'll be fine. She'll be back at Chinako Assembly. So yeah, this dungeon's uh, kind of kicking our butt a little bit. I mean, granted, part of it is because Raditz used up all of our Reviver Seeds already. Okay. Burn you. Help me. Thank you, Eevee Lynn. Well, as long as we got the dynamic duo, we should be okay. Nope! Not facing that. Is this the deepest part of the desert? Why, there's quicksand! The sand's getting sucked down here and there. They look like sand whirlpools. We'd be pulled under if we got close. It's dangerous here. I don't see anything around here that even remotely looks like a time gear. I guess there's nothing here? Oh? What's wrong, Charlotte? Hmm, this feeling. It's like the one I got at Fogbound Lake. I... I know this place. I may have only heard of this place, but it seems like I've been here before. Can't tell which. By the way, I do know this place. Say, Charlotte. What's wrong? You seem to be in a daze there. Well, it seems to be nothing here. How disappointing. Let's report our findings to the guild. Let's go home. Are you pushing me home? Clouds parted over the northern desert. What? So everyone's back from their searches, but no one found anything? That's what happened, all right. Hey, hey, we went out to the eastern front, just like we were told. But hey, there's nothing really... There's nothing really there but the forest. As far as Crystal Cave? Yup, yup, it was chock full of crystals. Not a pretty cave, I tell you. It was so pretty that I just couldn't help. Helping myself to a crystal. Ooh, when did you pick that up? I was with you the whole time. I never noticed. Our objective was to find a time gear. We all failed to achieve our objective. But we will have the nerve to collect a souvenir totally unrelated to the mission. What do you think you will are? Oh, gosh, I'm sorry. I just wanted a tiny treasure for myself, that's all. That's no all, sir. I regret to say it. All such efforts ended fruitlessly. Oh, this is ve- <clears throat> Oh, this is quite vexing, if I do say so. I thought the search's locations, wounds we chose, held premise, dear boy. I blame my lack of knowledge. I'm truly chast- My goodness, no. You mustn't blame yourself. Why, it was thanks only to your vast knowledge that we came up, up with our plan, Dust Noir. Nonetheless, our efforts have ended in failure. That is a fact of Bean. But being hard on ourselves is pointless. Let us reconsider our plan, and we shall devise a different strategy tomorrow. Yes, let's do that, and may we find success together. That's how it stands, everyone. That's enough work for today. Rest up, prepare for tomorrow. Understood.
Eat my own hand. Okay, that hurt a little. We should get some sleep too. Let's make tomorrow another good day, Charlotte. Okay, good night. The next morning. Up and out of it's morning! Good morning, Charlotte. Would you like to save your adventure? Alright. Unfortunately, I am rapidly running out of steam. We've been at this for a little under two hours. Well, an hour and 42 minutes according to this. And I am getting tired. Part of it is from streaming earlier today, but... The other part is I just didn't really get a whole lot of sleep last night. So I hope you guys don't mind if I cut us here so that we don't end up in the middle of a dungeon when we run out of time. For tonight. Anyways. Yeah. Thank you all so much for joining us. Um, as always, please remember, hit that subscribe button if you ha have a, sub a Twitch Prime account. Don't, um, with the Twitch Prime account, you get a free subscription to any e channel of your choice every 30 days. If you feel like supporting the channel, why not drop a subscription on it? Or if you don't, want, don't have a Twitch Prime or an Amazon Prime, hint, if you have an Amazon Prime account, you get a, uh... In Quran, I eat my own mammed. What's a mammed? This is a mammed. Oh, 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 oh. That does not taste good. Blech. Okay. Anyways, um, if you don't have a Twitch Prime or an Amazon Prime account, because, uh, spoiler alert, if you have an Amazon Prime account, you automatically get a Twitch Prime account as part of the Amazon Prime account, um, and you still want to support the channel, consider becoming a p p p p patreon You can uh, type in the link you see up there in the upper left-hand corner, or if you're watching on Twitch, there should be a button of Avatar Me holding up the old-school Patreon P that leads directly to the Patreon. Uh, by the way, remind me to get those rewards sent out. Note, I need to make sure I stay on top of them because I don't want to fail in any of the rewards I promised to all my patrons. And so, if you guys are noticing that something that something that you pledged for you're not getting, please poke me. Give me a nice hard poke. Make me do my work for, for the, the great support that you all give me. I mean, seriously, I can't thank you guys enough for that. Anyways, um, we will see you on Monday for more Kingdom Hearts, possibly before then because it's Holly Whiskey season. <laughs> Uh, that was a forced evil laugh. Anyways, bye-bye. I love you all.